Hi everybody, it's Gail Banks again. We're in Banks Dino Cell number one here in Azusa, California. And this is a blown alcohol big block Chevy. So you're gonna ask, what is Gail Banks doing with a blown alcohol Chevy. He's a diesel guy, right? No, I'm a forced induction guy. Built my first blown Chevy engine in 1960 and my first turbocharged gas burner in 1968. It was 1978 before I started screwing with diesel. So I'm kind of a turbo guy. Let me tell you about this blown engine. It is a 540 inch Big block Chevy, running Brodex heads, an 871 blower. It's electronically injected using the Holley Dominator ECM. It batch fires four nozzles every 90 degrees, alternating side to side in, in this sandwich plate between the hat and the blower. Blower is Teflon. There's a additive in the methanol to help lubricate those so they live a while. And we're running about 10% overdrive on the blower. We're here to fingerprint this thing. That's what's going on. We instrumented one of their trucks, Monster Mutt Dalmatian, came by here. We put our iDash uh, Data Monster gauges in the truck. Uh, took it to San Jose and got some performance numbers through the freestyle, spinning donuts, doing all the things they do. I wanted to know about throttle reaction time or density response. You see, engines inhale air density from the atmosphere. This particular engine displaces 540 cubic inches. If you look at 6,400 RPM with this 540-incher, the pistons are displacing 1,000 cubic feet a minute. We want the horsepower peak somewhere around 7,200. At 7,200, the engine's displacing 1,125 cubic feet a minute. That's the engine. What do we got in a hail to make 1,400 horsepower at 7,200 RPM. There's the goal. What we intend to do is make a diesel engine do what this thing does in a monster truck. That's our intent. Using our production iDash data monster, these things data log as well as read up to eight readings, and our air sensor, which we call the air mouse, which is bolted on the outside here, we're going to start with the air density that's in this room because air density speaks to pounds of air per thousand cubic feet. That's how I look at air density. On a standard day, this is what we correct horsepower to, a standard sea level day, your air, air pressure is 29.23 inches of mercury. Your air temperature is 77 degrees Fahrenheit. And your relative humidity is zero. That defines the air density on a standard day. And that's about 72.4 pounds of air per thousand cubes. Right now in the cell, the air mouse is measuring 14 and a half pounds of air pressure or 29.6 inches of mercury air pressure. I'm not using the word barometer. I'm, this, this is not a corrected number. This is a air pressure num number, a factual number. Uh, that, this is what you use with engines. The air temperature in here is 82 degrees. Relative humidity is 38.6, 38.7 uh, 
percent. And for you guys that are really into racing, grains of water per pound of dry air is 62.7, and the density altitude in this room is, is 1,890 feet. How many pounds of air do we have in the room right now per thousand cubes? We have 71.1 pounds of air per thousand. What will that do for me? Well, if this engine was injected, imagine a set of Hillborn straight stack injectors on this thing. So it would be an injected alcohol or an injected methanol burner. And we were pumping at 6,400 RPM and we had 100% volumetric efficiency, this engine on methanol would be making 725 horsepower. There it is, right on the screen. That's at 6,400. If we go up to 7,200, then we're at 1,125 CFM, so you would multiply that number by 1.125, and that would be the expected horsepower. That's going to be in the 800s. Unblown. How much ad additional density do we have to produce into the intake manifold with this blower to get us to 1,400 horsepower? That's what this is all about. We'd have to inhale uh, and compress and cool about 140 pounds per thousand cubic feet. Takes right about 9.8 pounds per minute per hundred horsepower. We're going to get this thing running and we're going to start measuring what this power adder is doing in terms of density addition from the air in the room to the intake manifold, and if our predicted power using this instrument is correct, at about 140 pounds, we'll have 1,400 horsepower. We've got a bunch of these things mounted on the dyno console, data logging what's going to happen in this room. And I'm really curious about that, so let me get the hell out of here. And let's bang this mother. All right, you ready? Let's hit it. Alright guys, there's more to come. Subscribe!